good morning guys happy first of august so this is where i camped last night look okay, over at my walking poles and then i don't know if you can see this i thought oh how cool they've like they've marked the tree with a one that is not a one but happy first of august everybody it is a tuesday so tuesday means a new episode of the tough girl podcast so go and check it out go and have a listen um to one of the awesome women that i have been interviewed and preloaded while i'm out on the trail some incredible stories so go and listen packed up sort of uh, the time is about 8 35 so having a little bit of a, a late one today to be honest uh, i need to just get moving which is what i'm going to do now my uh, jacket is going to be coming off and i'm going to embrace the chilly weather all right let's do this tuesday i'm going to smash out some miles Woo. Just want to give you a little tip when you're out camping. Can you see up there in the tree where I'm pointing? That big old grey thing? That is a wasp nest. We do not want to camp underneath a wasp nest. That is not a good move. Ever. Our first stop today on today's magical tour is Pulp pulpit rock Ooh, it's going to be a beautiful view train is okay relatively flat well you know relatively rocky relatively rooty but it's all good then we're going to be coming to a place called the pinnacle which is meant to be the most stunning views across the whole of pennsylvania so the skies are blue folks so i'm hoping it's going to be a beautiful view for you okay up we go i know i've complained a lot about the rocks on my last few uh, few vlogs but I have to say at the same time it is pretty fun like when you're scrambling along and just trying to get from A to B and you've just got these challenges and rocks and you're trying to work out which route to go and which is going to be the best place to step and how you should balance yourself like it involves concentration and then once you've crossed this like massive rock field, you're like, yeah, I smashed that, I did that. So as hard as it is, it's totally worth it. Like, ugh, this is honestly amazing. Amazing, I wish you could all be here with me, but you sort of are. This is the way we're going now. Woo! So guys, we're now at Pole Pit Rock, which is uh, what I showed you earlier. We uh, went over some pretty, Big. Woo! Mum, I know you'll hate this, but oh my god. Guys, this is insane. <laughs> oh. I've just got like sweat dripping into my eyes, but I can't really see, but oh, that is just oh, amazing. I can't wait to get to the next viewpoint. I think it's gonna be even better than this. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. 11.45, trying to refill my water at this beautiful stream. I totally missed the viewing spot. Don't know how I didn't see the pinnacle, the overlook. So I'm actually at Hawk Mountain Sanctuary Trail, which is 1,234.3 miles. And I need to get to 1,244 to get food, which is Blue Mountain Summit. So uh, six, 10 miles to go, baby. Woo! Oh, these flies are everywhere. All right. Dan's pulpit, made in the USA. We are in the USA on the Appalachian Trail. Oh, beautiful, apart from that graffiti, which we're just gonna ignore. Oh, oh yeah. Boop, 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 boop. So we just walk that way. And sometimes you get somewhere you're like, right, where is the blaze? Like, I know this has to be the route, but where is the blaze? And I don't know if you can see it on that tree, hidden behind all the bushes is the blaze.
Hey, hey, so we're currently at the Allentown Hiking Club Shelter, which is 1,240 miles in, which is great. So that means we've got less than 950 miles to go to get to Mount Katahdin. Just being on an epic trek to get water. I don't know what it is, we're putting shelters and water sources like another mile away. I mean, it obviously wasn't a mile. It was like 300 feet and then another 600 feet, but it's all downhill and it's all rocky and it's just a... It just adds so much extra to your whole day. So I still want to get to Blue Mountain Summit, which is where they have meals. So that is, how far away is that? It's about four miles away. Time now is 4.30. So yeah, I'm just gonna crack on. But that means that I've only really done, I think about 16 miles today, which is really bad. Might be 20, maybe it's, oh no, it's 16 miles to here. So yeah, so 20 miles when I get to Blue Mountain Summit. Um, so I'm just gonna have to play things by ear and decide I probably will carry on like after I've eaten I just I'm just gonna see how I feel because all I am left with food wise um, is let me show you what I've got left in here this power bar clean weight protein bar which is r rancid and so that is the sum total of the food I have left at the moment these two bars I just can't even bring myself to to I don't want to look at them they make me feel sick um, so I may have to force one down in a little bit I'm just gonna see if I can just go without okay let's get to the next place but yeah it's been really quiet today like I've hardly met um, I don't think I've really met anybody on the trail um, so yeah it's just been me listening to podcasts and getting in the groove fighting the rocks or embracing the rocky terrain Right, let's get moving. 4.30 now, let's see how quickly I can get to this campsite. I want to try and show you the gnats which are like around my face but I just don't know if they're going to come out on camera. But they are just... Oh, I need to get a fly net. They just like hover. I think they're like the sweat and then they just go in like your eyeballs and your eyelashes and you're just like, look, can you see them? Oh. oh. And you're trying to walk and so every few steps you would use your poles and just be like, woo! Or blowing like, to get rid of them. Not sure it really works. Okay, this is where we're walking now. Got about less than two miles to go to get to this campsite which apparently has food, which I obviously need. I always need food, and I'm sorry I keep talking about food. <laughs> so, just gonna go really focus. Two miles to go, stretch out the legs, ignore the gnats, and just power on through. Hey guys, it is quarter to six. I've reached what is obviously the road, and I'm hoping that this is the place where I can get food. Oh, I'm really not hoping, I'm really hoping because there's actually, like an, could be potentially another road like 2.2 miles away. Um, oh my God, let's just see what this is. Oh, I'm so, so happy. So this is Blue Mountain Summit Restaurant and b, &B. Um, I think, uh, I don't think I'm going to stay here because I think it's quite expensive but I'm hoping I can get food here and Wi-Fi. It's my dad's birthday today actually so it'd be nice to be able to have a quick uh, quick chat with him and wish him a happy birthday. Alright, let get, let's get myself sorted. This is not my day because it is closed. Oh my god. This is not what I wanted. I don't think it said in my book it was closed. Oh yeah, another big fat sign. Closed. To say I am completely gutted is a complete understatement. Because, oh this is my food, this is going to be like my oh, really good meal getting through the next day and I've kept some resupply. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do now so I need to check on my book. Um, I'm trying not to cry. Ugh. 
herding back into the woods with just two protein bars is obviously not the sensible option to do, but I can't actually get a resupply until 1,257. So I'm going to have to head back into the woods with my two protein bars, get to bake up the North Shelter tonight, which is 1,250 miles in. Then the following morning, so tomorrow, walk uh, 7.4 miles, get to Lear's Gap. And then I'll have to hitch a lift into town, which or is walking, it's like two miles away, which obviously don't want to walk two miles there, two miles back. It's just a complete nightmare. Um, yeah, nothing else I can do. Sorry, Dad, I did try to find some Wi Fi. Um, yeah, so it's now four minutes to six. I'm going to rest here for four minutes and then start walking again. So, six, seven, eight, I might as well just keep walking as far as I can. I do a bit of stealth camping tonight and try and get past the shelter so I have less, less miles to walk tomorrow morning to get to Year's Gap, to get my resupply. Ugh, this is so frustrating. Um, by the way, I was wrong, not the book. The book does actually, when I reread it, it was like, oh, it's not Monday through to Sunday or whatever. It's like Thursday to Saturday. So just bad timing on my half, but you know, everything happens for a reason. So I'm sure, you know, I'll figure it out. Somehow. Just another rocky stage of the Appalachian Trail. That blaze to that blaze to that blaze. Woo! Let's follow the blazes, shall we? Nice and logical just along there. Although it is called the cliff, so. To be honest, I'm not quite sure how to navigate the next uh, section, how to get around this. This is the view down. <laughs> It's about 20 past eight, something like that, quarter past eight. I've got 0.6 of a mile to go to get to the shelter. It's just all the way up there. So it's basically a race against the, well, the light. I'm going to get there in daylight, enough time to put up my tent, resupply my water and just get to bed and then we're done. Okay, let's uh, crack on.